Seville was one of the major expos which come up every 20 years. Basically, it was an ideas competition. We had to come up with a theme and a building to meet the theme. And our theme was water. The challenge of building a building in Seville is intense heat. It's the hottest city in Europe. So we use that kind of problem as part of the solution for the building. The criteria for Expo is the buildings have to be up in the summer. So the climatic influences on the site were very critical. Seville was the frying pan of Spain, I think it's called. And uh, obviously the buildings in the town made out of stone and so on worked because people lived in them and they lived quite comfortably there over hundreds of years. And basically it was the principle of having very thick walls to keep the building cool. But most of the Expo 92 buildings just relied on the fact of blasting air conditioned air into them and using a huge amount of energy. And we wanted to show that you could deal with this incredibly hot location ecologically and e economically using modern materials and using a modern building. We built a complete barrier wall on the west side where the sun was hottest, made out of water tanks, which lacked as a sort of buffer to stop the building heating up too much. On the east side, we created a water wall, which is a big trough of water, out of which the water ran down a glass facade. And as the sun shines through that water wall, all the heat is removed. So inside you have this beautiful light, but very cool uh, enclosure. And then over the roof, we had solar cells. So basically, the upshot of it was you had the solar cells making energy, running the pumps, which pumped the water up to the trough and let it run down the building. So effectively, you had the energy from the sun cooling the building. And it worked. We got the prize for the least amount of energy used over the six months for any of the pavilions. And um, it became a very popular place to go, especially because it had a 200 foot long bar in the basement where English beer was sold <laughs> in, the cool, in, in the cool atmosphere. The pavilion was ahead of the curve, if you like, on environmental issues. It was very much seen as a poster child of, of a new approach to environmental and uh, engineering and solution. Buildings consume around 75% of the world's energy. And so if anyone's going to come up with solutions, it's got, it's got to be the architecture and design community. <laughs>